microgravity detected. Alright. So the fabrication plan is... Oh shit! That's not what I'm looking for! Oh shit! There we go. Hold up. My inventory got reorganized. Uh, I want that to be on... on one. I pressed seven to try and use Psycho Jack and it didn't work out. Okay. Uh, I don't know where the Weaver body parts went. I really hate that they go fucking flying. It's... Irritating! <laughs> you kill him and they're gone. He's just like, whoops! Hope you follow me at max speed! And I'm like, no, but my materials! I need you! Ooh, a whole mineral. <laughs> Makes me slightly happy. Makes things better. Where the fuck did you? Here we go. Is that- is that it? Is that the bit? Tentacles? Huh? Here we go. Yeah, look how far these flew! Oh my god! It's all the way over here! Okay. So the fabricator plant is just floating about over in the area I was in. I somehow missed that. Or it wasn't there. Oh, it's in a safe! I didn't notice the safe before. 7730. If I did notice the safe, I forgot. Portable turret fabrication plan. Yeah, these are the turrets that, uh, we already had though, right? Because I'm not really- <laughs> if they're new turrets, that'd be awesome. But if they're the same turrets that we've already been having everywhere else, they suck. <laughs> they really suck. They get knocked away and they can't shoot anymore. They do- if they- if they didn't get knocked away, it'd be a lot better. Alright, I'm trying to see if, uh, she'll float in a different way once we're inside. I don't know how much it costs to make them, but whatever. Oh, you know what? Crap, I did it again. We got us- we- we got- Oh shit, I can blow those up? Oh, I didn't know that. Anyways, um, we could have grabbed the ID for Grant Lock or whatever. I just keep forgetting. Alright, let's go make some turrets, figure out what they want us to do. Alright, let's see how much, how much it costs to make these things. I'm probably going to lose a lot. I'm going to be really sad, aren't I? Portable turret. Ha! Huh. Fabricated turrets are always friendly to you. That's great. That's fantastic. You, come with me. How can I give you the stuff? Ugh. We'll, we'll make one turret. And maybe she'll let us in. Moving. Yeah, they're the same fucking thing. <laughs> you can't tell the difference. Okay. Well, let's bring the lift down then. Cause that's the only way we're gonna get all these turrets up there. This is a bad idea. We'll leave this one here. There are a couple other turrets. Oops. In other areas. Like this guy. Come with me. I fortified you and everything. I don't even need turrets. I could head in there and just destroy everything. Yeah, it's a little cocky, and I'd probably fucking, like, die once, but I'd get my shit together eventually. Alright. Oh, I kept on hitting deploy. That's not what I want. 
Coming through, got me a turret for Cargo B. <laughs> hey! Oh, <laughs> I think I could have just opened the door. But I had to do it from the other side. Whoops. But I have the turret now, that's all that matters. I can toss it. Ow. <laughs> toss it and hurt myself. Good job, me. You know what? We're eating some of these noodles. We're working up an appetite. An appetite that needs to heal all of us. There must be a way to get some turrets online. Okay. So now that we have done this, let me make sure what our objective is before I make any mistakes. Uh, open cargo bay B. Alizar won't open the doors unless I get her team some turrets. As soon as the doors open, the Typhon will flood their way in. It's either that, or find some other way to get the doors open. Hmm, okay. I think the farming keys can always be fabricated if they get lost. Let's see, place turrets in the loading zone of Cargo Bay B. Ah, uh, shit. <laughs> They just wanted me to put the turrets outside of the door or in front of the door. Oh wait, no, okay, all right, because this is Cargo Baby. How the fuck do I put them in there then? Because if I open the door, everyone dies. Right? Oh. Here we go. This is the loading zone. I didn't see that down there. Yeah, we're even fortified for you guys. Thank you. Making me fucking climb all over the place. Thankfully, there is a turret in the other Welcome. cargo side. Maybe I can help you. I just want to be able to open up Cargo Bay A. Although I guess this isn't Cargo Bay A. That's confusing. <laughs> yeah. All right. Now I get the idea of what's going on. <laughs> I thought that this was Cargo Bay A. And so I was incredibly confused as to what was going on with that. They're gonna get your damn turrets, they're gonna be fortified, and they're probably gonna get completely destroyed, but... Hey, we finally get a chance to try out a bunch of them at once. Three turrets just laying into that room. Let's see what happens. While we're here... I have enough points to grab extra abilities. One of them is definitely going to be super thermal. Two. 100 points. Hell yeah. 100 damage. We're going to make a save here in case everyone dies. Proximity sensor reset. Let's do this. I'm ready to rock and roll. Okay. Let us put down a couple of traps. Officer Maddox ready. Maddox, you should get the fuck out of the way. You're going to die. Safe The ATs are online and primed. No. Can't wait until our friends get a taste of these. Here's the code for Cargo Baby. Before sliding the door open, check your surroundings. Take a mental snapshot. You start seeing double of anything, be sure you know which target to shoot. See you in hell, Dad. Damn PPNs. These small magazines are for civilians. Ammo, check. Breathing, check. Scared, check. You men ready? We only get one shot at this. All right, everybody. It's Rebel time. Good luck and have fun! Alright, problem, problem. My abilities can hurt them all, which is not good for us. Ah, oh, god, fear, fuck, mother, son of a bitch. I kind of just stood in front of everybody and killed them by myself. And I'm still breathing. We're so Always thought something was bound to go wrong, but I couldn't even have imagined this. Now that we are secure here, we can hold out indefinitely. <laughs> if you send other survivors here, I will protect them. 
What if they're criminals? You know about the volunteer stuff, right? Uh, let's listen to Shark Fan hey, transcribes. This is Gus down in Cargo. Hey, listen, uh, did you order any reployers from Earth? Order any what? Reployer. It's a machine. A uh, machine? What does it do? Well, I'm not sure. I was hoping that you could tell me. <sighs> Wait, is this some kind of a joke? I I'm, I'm busy. You're an industrial designer, right? So I thought you would know. You obviously don't understand what I do, and I didn't order any deployer. Reployer. Ask somebody in engineering. I did. I've been asking everyone. No one ordered it or knows anything about it. Weird. Well, perhaps I can come down this evening and take a look at it. That'd be great. Thanks, Lane. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Wait, all right. That, that's kind of funny. Is it one of those situations where a bunch of people have reployers and have no idea what the fuck they do? Because that's kind of... We don't know what reployers do. We, we, we've seen them. But they don't do anything for us. They're just objects in the environment. So for the game to also kind of be like, we... What are they for? <laughs> that's meta and funny. Okay. There's a lot of containers in here. Holy shit. Yeah, I like supplies. We'll hack through that, but first we gotta talk with people a little bit. Oh, hold up. Ooh. Where does this go? Oh. It's just a shortcut through in here. <laughs> right. We survived. We showed him. We did it. Thank you. Austin, cool. Those were not the last of the enemy. Thanks if more come, here, we will be ready. Yeah, you better be. You got three fucking turrets sitting with you. All fortified, all pointing towards the door. Although you should probably keep the door closed for Hello. general purposes. Are you here for an appointment? Ye yes. I, I got hurt. I don't even know if it was to the enemies or if it was to everybody else. Nothing life-threatening. Please, hold still. This will only take a moment. Good as new. Please fill out a patient experience questionnaire so I can serve you better next time. You know, if you ever wanted to work with my team when we get off this death trap, I'd consider it. <laughs> You'd have to report to me, though. And I'm not as friendly as it may seem. Hey, I'm your boss at the moment, and uh, I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna be working for you. We could just- we could co-run the security company. I how much I missed combat, and how much I didn't. If you ever want a job in security, let me know. I could put in a good word. <laughs> I might know some people. I don't know if I'd still be good at security without my typing powers, though. Doctor... Morgan. Thank you. I feel like we have a chance now. Where do you go? This, this doesn't wipe away what you and your brother did. But... You're different than I expected. Good in a fight, too. Thank you. All right, so let's look for crew members. Morgan, um, you saved our asses. Now, you might want to get out there and see if you can save a few more. Yeah, I'll see what I can try. I know there. I know there are people in the <sighs> IT security. Not going to lie, that felt good. Haven't seen that much action since the Middle East evacuation. Tell me more. I wish to know more. What is the evacuation? What happened there? Insufficient typhon material found. Can I go through here now? Let me through. Oh, all right. So what do we got? Uh, we need to head down to life support in order to get Alex's key. And life support is way down here, dude. I really hope that the airlocks don't all have to be reactivated one by one. I'm going to be pretty fucking angry about that. If that's the case. Ah, cargo bay leads into life support. Huh. Alright. Well, let's get out of here. I should probably repair my armor. There's an engineering operator inside the cargo bay, though. I do want to head back out into space. In order to... I just kept coming. Get some help. Hello. I was worried we'd run out of bullets. I, I thought we were dead for sure. <laughs> Everyone's walking around a little, more, no a little bit more. No one deserved this. They didn't deserve this. 
I think when she was talking Is about it over? Are there any more? Wishing she had gotten the power supply, she was probably legitimately talking about the power in here. When she said it before, I thought she was just talking about like going to the power supply to turn off the fire or some shit, but that's not the case. Maybe they're looking for stable bodies, homes. They want to live inside us like a disease. Ugh. I used to wish we weren't alone in the universe. Now, I wish we were. Where do you suppose they came from? We don't know. The Russians ran into them first. Even if we're dead, it won't be over. We'll still be at their mercy, like Enoch, like the others. And I don't fully know what happened in that particular situation. We saw the footage, but how did they find the Typhon in the first place? Did the Typhon just attack the ship? Or did we approach something and then got attacked? I don't know. I think we have to go through the cargo bay B in order to get out of here. So we'll head back in there, hack through some storage devices, but uh, we'll be fine. The poltergeist remains invisible except when it attacks. Yeah. I mean, it kind of it makes a bunch of noise, but yeah, no, it definitely has to wait until it starts flickering and then I goo it. Then it can't do anything but die in two shots. I'm a fan of my shotgun. And I'm a fan of my pistol. Microgravity detected. Alright. Morga? Mikhaila? I didn't think to check your transcribe. <coughs> Not sure how you got here. I thought you left because... Never mind. Airlocks and lifts are locked up. Like my lungs. Paraplexes. I'm even seeing the spots now. You were right. <coughs> Even if I could get my booster shots from my office. But I think I can get us out. <clears throat> By cycling the main reactor to bypass the lockdown. I know it sounds crazy, but I can walk you through it. I do it myself, but... I'll just get here, alright? <laughs> alright. New objective. Reactor control room. Do I have to go to it from the outside? Reboot. Hold up. I can't destroy Talos 1 without Alex's armor key, but I'm stuck down here. Rebooting the station reactor removed the lockdown Alex placed on the main lift and airlocks. And then I could move freely around the station. Oh. Yeah, okay. We have to go through life support via the main lift. Holy shit, Grant is all the way out here? This is the furthest we're gonna be from the station. That's kind of funny that there's someone out here. I wonder if there's any, like, Easter eggs out here that you just have to drive or fly out. Really incredibly far. Holy shit, dude. It looks like we're getting... Ah, we're getting the radiation! From being this far out. Well, Grant! You need to get back to the station. Radiation poisoning detected. Seek medical attention. Alright, Grant. I'm dying of radiation poisoning. I'm not a fan of it, so I'm going back in. You're just gonna have to be stuck out here. It's unfortunate, but you'll be fine. You're already dead. Jeez, he was all the way out here, though. Why? Did he try to escape? Did he die and end up floating out all the way over here? No idea. Yeah, okay. I was like, I was confused as to what that was pointing at. It's just pointing back to the entrance to the cargo bay. It's the only way we can go! Alright. So what does that put us at for Neuromods? 13 again. Well... We've kind of been going on a... a fight-by-fight -fight basis sometimes. It's like, oh, well... I guess I'll grab Super Thermal 3 or something right before a boss fight or something. But I think we might be fine. Electrostatic Burst 2 would be good. Six seconds for a stun on robotic targets. Thermal Resistant, take 50% less damage from fire attacks and hazards. Oh, you know what? We could give myself, like, some Super Resistance. Because, uh, sometimes it really sucks. 
So you get hit by one attack from these guys, and it just annihilates my health. Not a fan of that. Uh, for the... I think there's an either resistance as well. Although I don't know where it is. Hmm. What about this? Force robotic enemies to end hostilities and fight you for 30 seconds. Or fight for you for 30 seconds. That would be good too. Just an option for every situation. Fire or fear resistance. Meh. <laughs> we just have to keep scanning the nightmare. And eventually we'll be like, I guess I don't really care as much. Backlash hasn't been super useful, though. We haven't been encountering a lot of enemies that just, like, wail on me consistently for a very long time. I could increase my sneak damage. Get a couple of one-shots here and there. Mm -hmm. Oops, that's wrench. That's the wrench. We're getting sneak damage. Or combat focus, too? Walk and run without making a noise. I'm not really worried about that one. I mean, obviously, it'd be great to have right here. Uh, supreme levels of stealth. Especially at this speed. Because then I could run by enemies and they wouldn't even fucking know I did it. But I'm more concerned about getting sneak damage increase so I can, like, one-shot an enemy or phantom from right behind it. All right, cargo baby. You have a ton of items in you, so we want access to most of them. This is gonna frustrate some people. But I want these items. And a lot of these are, are locked by a security thing. Some of these are only locked by, by a door, so at least there's that. But cargo. We want to give it a generic box name without actually letting you access it. Okay, some of these have been empty, a lot of these have been empty, kind of annoying. The nightmare is hunting you. Where? <laughs> it, it can't get me in here, so the only place it can go... ...will be at the front. Yeah, yep, it's out here. That's funny. What in the fuck? It's so fast! It's ridiculous! It's shooting the engineer! No! Oh, I had to turn on top of the recycling! Oi! You stopped that! Ow. That was bad of me. Okay. Who needs rockets when you have shotguns? And then I will immediately turn him into goop. Thank you. This might sound strange coming from me, but I admire what you did. You didn't have to help Chief Elazar and her people in the cargo bay. Especially considering, well, considering you intend to destroy the station. You gave them some hope, even if it's brief. <laughs> January acknowledges the point that, uh... I, I thought we were dead These people sure. are going to die if we go through with our plan. Because no one can be fully allowed to escape, except for the one or two people. We are already allowed to escape. Uh, but we'll have to see what ends up happening with that. We might end- I, I imagine we're gonna get, like, a serious choice. Like, in order to, like, do we want to keep the station running? What's going on there? Do we sympathize more with... with Morgan Yu's old beliefs? Or the ones that he's formed as we've been him? Or I guess, in a different way to say it, would be our opinions on things. I don't know. Because, I mean, I want to, like, believe Alex. I want to believe that he can eventually get things under control. Obviously, he hasn't uh, at the moment. So... We're, we, we, again, we've been taking his words with a grain of salt. Extreme grains of salt. But if there's a chance that we could contain the Typhon and still use all their abilities, 
the only other bad thing about Transtar is their general corporate greed. Everything else has been official. The Neuromods are objectively a really badass idea. Being able to to learn things almost instantly that would have taken you otherwise years and years and years and years to learn. While some people have like a preference, some people will be like, oh, it's better for you to have learned the old way. If you could eliminate some of that for the world, that's that just only enhances the population. I mean, it's going to suck for people who, who have careers for those specific kinds of qualities. You know, uh, musicians no longer being the primary... Or musicians not having to train for like 20 years in order to be super amazing and the best musicians in the world. Well, they're going to have a tough time when average Joe can take their skills in like a day. But besides that, uh, it's going to be amazing. People Again, even other stuff like learning French or something. Seems like a great idea. All right. So we need to get out of here. Which means we need to head into life support. But yeah, if we could kill the aliens or put them under our control in some way, that might be a good risk. Because blowing up the station, I feel kind of might only just... extend the inevitable. Right? Because if you blow up the station, yeah, you kill all the Typhon on it. Uh, hopefully some of them might resist explosions to the face. Um, and you'll deal with everything that was going on, all the research, but the Typhon existed before the research here. They could show up again at some point, you know? 